Hello Magical Box Lovers and welcome to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 45 years old and I live here in very cold, very icy, very snowy Derbyshire. Yay! It was minus six yesterday. Yes, be very, very careful if you're out and about. It's very, very cold, very icy. Don't break a leg, don't break anything. Be very, very careful. Right, so last box of the year for Witch Casket. Yay! So I've been really, really excited for this one because they, they let us know what the theme was early in advance and it is Money Magic. So Witch Box has already done Money Magic. They did it for their October's theme and I absolutely loved that one. So Witch Casket, come on, you've got to do better, come on. So we've, I can't wait to see what these guys have done. So is it going to be better than Witch Box or just as good? We'll see. So as usual, I have opened the box. I have taken out the little noodle doodles. I've just put them in some warm water. It just helps them dissolve a lot quicker if you put them in warm water. They just dissolve away and that's it. There we go, sorted. Right, so December 2022's Witch Casket. Before I open the box, I'll show you the outer packaging. It arrives in a packet like this. Sent from Love from the UK. It doesn't say anything witch casket on it. It says 100% biodegradable, fragile, but it has started now to say on the return address to return to witch casket, which it didn't say before. I will show it yet. It's in a very, very fine print there. It used to just say return to unit such and such at the matrix such and such but now it's starting to say return to witch casket so just to make you aware that it does now say return to witch casket on there okay but other than that it is discreet you know you've really got to look for the return address and go oh yeah it's witch casket what's that okay that what that, that's just my address you, you don't need to know where I live in Derbyshire, don't there you go. Right, I'm so looking forward to this. Right, okay, we're ready. So December 2022, so like I say, I have opened this, but not looked at everything properly. That is all the social media platforms that they're on. Uh, I will, will pop uh, the link for Witch Casket on the descriptions down below. Uh, so you can just click on the link and it'll take you straight to their store. Uh, they don't just do the subscription box, they also have a store there that you can shop. Now I know how to do links. We've got a link for all of my boxes. I'm getting very good now, do I'm getting very good. There we go. Right, so all the noodle doodles are out, so it makes life a lot easier and you haven't got lots of things flying about. Plus I also just quick cursory glance that there's nothing broken. You don't need to see me reaching in and getting a bloody hand or anything like that. Because as you know, I don't edit my videos. I like them to be real videos. I hate videos that are like, like that. Or oh, they've cut so many times, it's just not a real video. What you see is what you get. Mistakes, warts and all. I've even shed tears on my videos. If, if you've watched all my videos, you know, you understand. Half the time, I, I can't say my words out, but it's real. That's what I want in my videos. Okay, here we go. So December 2022, Witch Casket, Money Magic. So I'll get everything out. So this is the leaflet that they always do. It's just their ingredients list of what is in here, in the box. I'll show you on the reverse because they always show you uh, just what some uh, subscribers have sent in of their photos of their previous boxes. I just like to show you that. And I must admit, I do love the colouring. It's just a beautiful colouring that they've gone for. It reminds me of, you know, um, after eight minutes, it reminds me of that. I'm loving it. That's the art print. I can't wait. This actually arrived this morning. I'm like, ooh, because I've had problems, you know, with the postal strikes. Um, so I, I do apologise if, cause as you know, I, I do try and, like all my boxes that are in 
December I always try and film and upload for you guys are in December uh, and I've always tried to do that and I've managed to do that whatever the month the box arrives in is released in that month even if it's the last day in the month I always try and get my videos uploaded but with the postal strikes at the moment I mean I think this is the 17th or 18th of December so far I've only got wonky broomstick and witch casket so I may not be able to get all of my boxes released for December purely because they might not arrive so I'm just giving you a heads up that I, I do apologise but it's out of my hands as to when the boxes arrive as to when I can actually film them to release them because as you know I do work full time um, so it can be a little bit tricky but I'm, I'm fingers crossed hoping you know my toes are crossed that they will arrive and I'll be able to do that because I like to have like the month that the boxes are in is the month that I release them you know because it's hard enough that I don't have a set day for you guys uh, you know that I like to do it like December you get your December box you have your December video yeah so I just wanted to explain that that at the moment there's only one key and this one available I know, I know it's a nightmare, isn't it? But they do deserve equal pay. Do deserve equal pay. Because where would it be without the postal service? So this is usually a spell or a ritual. Now, this is the Book of Shadows page. I have just, you know, just undone the little sticker, but I haven't read it or looked at it. And this, I saw this. It's like a little pouch thing. I'm like, ooh. But everything looks so... Lush and expensive. I'm like, I mean, which casket always looks really well put together and always looks more expensive than what you're paying. But this month looked really, and this I'm so intrigued about, look really, I don't know whether it's because it is money magic. I don't know. Just sent a little bit more. Ooh, <laughs> that's the crystal of the month. And we've got the pin. I will go in detail, obviously, when I've got everything out. I just like to get everything out and then show you guys. Uh, I think it's that. Oh, no, that's not the last item. There we go. Right, my box is empty. Okay, okay. And also, just a little heads up, something new will be coming next year. Uh, I will be doing something new for YouTube Shorts. It's going to be called Helen's Hints. And it's going to be for new and beginner witches. And it's where I'm going to be sharing my own hints and tips. And also your hints and tips. So it's for new witches. Just give them hints. You know, simple things like, you know how I keep saying like with candles, you only, you only really need white candles because it's a universal candle. You know, little tiny hints and tips that can be shared on a YouTube short that can really make a difference if you're starting out on, in witchcraft. Just little tiny slip snippets that I can share. Um, so if you have any hints and tips that you would like to share and something to give back to the witch, witchcraft community, can't speak, um, then pop it in the comment section down below or if you prefer send me an email uh, I'll pop my email in the description box somewhere as well or if you find me on the you know the about section on the YouTube my emails there please just pop in the comments that Helen I've sent you an email and then I know to check my emails because sometimes it goes in the spam box and then I can't find things uh, and if you want your name omitted please let me know but yeah, I want it to be a safe place where we can share hints and tips and things like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing next year uh, with YouTube Shorts. Just little tiny hints and tips, just, you know, just to help people out. Because, I mean, when I first started 20 years ago, I hadn't got a clue. And we didn't have the luxury of like internet and, you know, Instagram and things like that. So yeah, I just want to give something back to the community. And I'd just like to get you guys involved as well. Because, I mean, I've, I've gained so much from, from you guys as well so I just want to give a little bit back so yeah I just thought I'd give you a little heads up as what's what's coming and yeah so I want to get you involved too so thank you very much right so let's begin with the box I'll start with the easy one first incense so what have we got so this is the abundance incense oh so we have a bewitching blend of patchouli and mint oh 
I can really smell the mint. Oh, you wouldn't. Patchouli and mint together, you'd think. Well, that does actually go. <laughs> that does smell nice. I remember for the witch, sorry, witch casket. I keep mentioning witch box. Uh, but I remember in the witch box one they did do basil incense and that was absolutely beautiful. I have actually used that one up. That, but that is really nice. I think I might be using that one. I've got so many on, on the go and I'm like, no Helen, use the ones that's on the go and put some the new ones aside. Use the ones up first and then I'm like, oh, but I've got a new one. It's shiny, it's shiny. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Yeah, I'm interested in this. What is this? Tarot leaves taking care of business. I like that. So it looks like a, a sew-on patch. Is it a sew-on patch? I'm just going to check. So I'm just going to refer to this. So I think it's a sew-on patch by the looks of it. Uh, yes. So tarot tea leaves and taking care of business. Iron on also our specially designed patch onto your bag, jacket, scarf, etc. to show the world what you're about. So yeah, so it's like an iron, I can't say an iron on patch thing. It's got that funny stuff on the back. I love that. That's right, cool. I do like that. Oh yeah, I can see the tarot leaves now. Just, uh, tarot leaves. I can see the tarot leaves. I've made a new type of divination up. Tarot leaves. <laughs> hey, tarot cards. I can see them now. So I was trying to think, where are the tarot cards? They're there, aren't they? I love that. I like that. That's, a, that's a really nice saying, that. I like that. On about nice sayings, look at that. That's one of my favourite endings, you know, when I say a spell, as I will it, so mote it be. That is perfect. I love that. That's brilliant. And, oh, look at the back. A little manifestation pouch, some pentacles. I, I always love looking on the backs. They always do something on the backs of these cards. I love that. Oh, yeah, I do love that. Loving things already. Candles. Really lush candles. Look at that. Packaging is absolutely amazing. Can you see? Well, you can see how glossy it is because I'm struggling to show it you. There we go. So, yeah, very glossy. See what I mean? I'm thinking after eight minutes and on the back. So, it says these candles can be used as part of any spell or ritual. Use the colour to match your intention. Black, protective, banishing, breaking hexes, or bad habits. Green, money abundance, good fortune. It's also, you know, like earth as well, you can use green for. Brown, concentration, ma uh, material, practical matters, or grounding. I keep saying this, but you can also just use a white candle for everything. So don't worry if you can't get your hands on these certain candles for those certain things that you wanted to manifest. A plain white candle from Pound Shop will do. Okay, so don't worry if you can't afford or can't get plain white one will do. Or sometimes it's like, you know, like some people will like say, oh, you, you need this colour candle for such and such. But you don't feel that, you personally don't feel that that colour candle is right. Go on what your gut tells you. Don't go on what someone tells you. Go on what your gut is telling you. If you think that, I want that purple candle for that spell. That is the right candle for that spell at that time. Don't do what that other person tells you. Do what your gut tells you because that's your intuition talking. That is the right candle. That's another Helen's hint. There we go. <laughs> I'm just getting these out because I can't wait to see these. Look at those. They are lush. It's just the packaging, I just like, you know, you're so used to seeing them just like in ordinary packaging. They're really, it just feels expensive, this box. I mean, that's nearly a gold candle. That is beautiful. They are beautiful candles, I must admit. And I've got a lot of candles, but they are beautiful and they're quite slender as well. 
I've actually got a little pot of like, a, it's like candle gum. So you pop it on the bottom of your candle so that if you, you know, your candle holder's a little bit too big. Because um, sometimes, you know, when you try and melt the bottom of the candle, it doesn't quite work sometimes. This is a bit, imagine like blue tack. But it's a bit like blue tack for candles. You pop it on and it's safe. Uh, I forget the name of it. It's like a little tin of it. Uh, I found it out, it's actually from uh, Madame Pamita, uh, I read her Candle Magic book, excellent book by the way, if you're wanting to get into Candle Magic, uh, read her book, really really good, starts you out with the basics and it just, just encourages you to do your own spells, that's what I love about it, it's not just a book of spells, it's how to do your own spells, it's absolutely brilliant and teaches everything about candles because I, I, I make a lot of my own candles as well and it teaches you your basics and it's like I've, I've even now got um, it's a USB charger can uh, you know lighter because I always use either matches or the gas lighters always going through things but now I've got a uh, it's like a little spark at the end of it and it's a rechargeable one you just charge it up like you would do your phone I use those and I'm like, it's, it's quite liberating, like this spark just lights your candle. Because there's so much like, how do you light a candle? Do you want the chemical of the sulphur from the match? Or do you want the gas? Or But I'm like, it's kind of clean that a spark is. So there's so much in there, you know. So that's, there's, there's an awful lot with candles, yeah. But really good book, Madame Pamita Candle Magic. Really recommend it go on to the crystal let's see what this is i think this is an aventurine let's have a look yeah green aventurine with a pentacle let's have a look save <laughs> let's have a look can't see oh yeah beautiful i love it absolutely love it i'm not actually wearing mine today Absolutely love it. That'll be going on my altar, that one. Love it. Love it. And it comes with a little car. This is what I mean, the presentation. They, they didn't have to. They could have just popped that in a bag and pop, you know, pop the information in there. Oh, yeah, you've got a crystal, though. You know, but no, they do these little cards. Beautifully presented. You know. And I am struggling to read it, though, I must admit. Uh, so, Green Aventurine with Pentacle, believed to promote uh, opportunities and good fortune. Green Aventurine can uh, attract abundance of all kinds. Oh, and it tells you a little bit about tarot. So, the suit of pentacles in tarot uh, represents business, finances, practical matters and material wealth. Carry this stone with you to manifest prosperity. Oh, I might have to put that in the... In the pocket then Ooh, there were me going to pop it on my altar Ooh, i'm getting ideas now can you see those cogwheels going around then you just you saw me zone out for a second like <laughs> oh that was a bit sinister that laugh i do apologize there we go <laughs> right i don't know where to start now this one right as usual another beautiful sticker so with uh, with these, as you know, I don't hold them up so that you can copy because I encourage you to go and find free things on the internet or uh, Instagram because there's so much out there that you can get for free. These guys, they, they, they lovingly put these boxes together so I encourage you to go out and buy the boxes or you can buy these separately and a lot of them do hold copyright so I will get into trouble if I do hold them up so that you can copy. Alright, so that is why I don't hold anything up for you to copy. Plus I don't want you to go click, 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 click and try and get it and you, you're not going to get it anyway. You can get so much free stuff. Uh, I always promote a, a lovely young lady called Mystic Primrose. Uh, I follow her on, on Instagram and she does some really, really good spells and she does the quick demos as well with them and she's got an, also a really good shop as well. So it's Mystic Primrose on, uh, I, I don't know if she's got a YouTube but I do follow her on Instagram. In fact, I think she's on YouTube. Uh, I do follow her on Instagram and uh, she does quick 
spells like that, what to do, how to do it, and then she lists it all down and does a beautiful demonstration. So Misty Penrose, love her. Uh, so I will just hold this up like, like there, uh, but you can buy these uh, from uh, Witch, Witch Casket uh, site. So yeah, so that is what they look like, and yeah, it's about a mon about money bowls, and uh, it's how to make a money bowl what herbs you need for money bowls, what crystals you need for money bowls. But like I say, if you if you type in a, an internet search for money bowl, you will get money bowl spells by the millions. Trust me, I know. Same on like a YouTube search, type in money bowl. Um, Witch of Wonderlust, she does amazing spells. I absolutely adore her, Olivia. Um, she's if you don't follow her follow her uh, Frankie on uh, Chaotic Witch Hunt she has really opened my mind up to an awful lot of she does a lot more for the like the activism side of witchcraft and she's opened up my mind an awful lot and um, so they're two really good witches to follow as well there's so many good people out there so many good but yeah Witch of Wonderlust she's amazing I absolutely love her uh, but yeah, there we go. So I always encourage you to go out there yourself and get free stuff rather than click, 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 you know, and copy stuff, if, if you know what I mean. There we go. I always say it every time because I appreciate some people might be new to the video, so that's why I don't hold it up so you can copy. Uh, right, so I, I'm like, there's so much good stuff, I don't know what to do next. This. So we've got a pouch, so it's like a suede, suede pouch. Uh, we've got a lovely little pull cord buckle thing so it's like something you could like attach to your belt and it's got a pentacle on it so you see looks like it's got some glitter on it as well yeah it's got bit, bit little bits of glitter on it I think it's actually picked up from my table the glitter yeah it's picked up from my table do apologize yours might not come with glitter mine's got glitter from my previous box because i've just filmed uh, the wonky broomstick box and um <clears throat> so i've got glitter on mine sorry <laughs> but yeah it's beautiful that so i'm going to read what it says about that right attraction pouch uh, an opulent pouch designed to use as an ornate charm bag to attract what you desire. Fill this with herbs, crystals, talismans, curiosities and notes to match with your intention and carry with you to aid manifestation. I absolutely adore that. I do, that's beautiful. That is lovely. I do love pouches and things like that. I, I do love them. So yeah, that is lovely, right? So I'll go for the art card next. So this one is lovely. I like that. Straightforward, what it is, lovely. And who has done that? It's usually by, the. it usually just says in-house person who does it. Uh, let me have a look. It's called an opulent pentacle art print created by our in-house designers, especially for our subscribers. There we go. So it doesn't actually say who's made it, but it's it it is what it is. It's beautiful. And I get can you see? Can you see that? Reminds me, you know, um, like table tops. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Old fashioned table tops. They had that or like old leather armchairs. It just feels rich and elegant and old old worldy oh I'm, I'm loving this so i've got three items left what do i do this i'm so intrigued by this what's this so let me show it you what are we it's a manifestation hanger okay so fill this hanger with things to represent what you should like to attract this, uh, these can be crystals, herbs, amulets, or even a bill you need to pay. Oh, crack, I need a bigger one than that, don't. <laughs> or a note with a sum of money you need. Again, need a bigger one than that, don't. <laughs> How 
hang near the entrance to your home to attract what you need to, into your home. Oh, I love that. Well, I didn't see that. It's got, can you see? It's got that etchings on. I'm, I'm, I'm chuckling to myself because I keep seeing the little squirrel. Well, it's not little anymore. It's got a pot belly, thanks to me. Going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Because I, I, every day I put them some nuts out. And up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down until the nuts are gone. <laughs> Oh, there we go. So you pop all your things in there. There you go. It fits on firmly, so it's not going to... I'm having to press it on, so it's not just going to fall off, you know, when you put all your crystals in there. It's not going to drop on someone's head, is what I'm trying to say. There we go. So, yeah, it fits on firmly. I like that. I like that idea. And it's nice because... Yeah, I like, and you can also put do some um, knot work to it. You can put some uh, ribbons around it and knot, you know, your knot magic. Uh, you can add that to it either on the chain or around the bottom. Oh, I mean, if you really wanted, you could turn it upside down and seal it. Whatever, if you if you didn't want to use it again, seal it depending on what you're making. Oh, I love that. Or you could just use it just to hide things you don't want to see. You know, just keep it in your drawer. You could even just use it to keep certain things tidy, keep precious items in, or like delicate things in, or crystals in. You could even just use it as a storage container, just because it says it says it's for manifestation you don't have to use it for that you could use it just to store your crystals in or certain crystals if it's like your chakra crystals or or pendulums or if, you know something special to you you know just because something says it's one thing don't mean you have to use it for that but i do love that i do really like that i like that idea i've never seen anything like that before and i really like that i've seen like i, I think yeah, it is witch casket that does them as little pots, but not as a hanging thing like that. No, I love that. Right, so I'm going to go to this. this oh, I've just read what it is. I'm going to go to the ritual now. And it is a money bowl ritual kit. So I'm just cutting. Because I don't want to rip it because I will be doing this. Oops. So I've just cut along there, so it's a money bowl ritual kit. I save these bags, you know, for when you're collecting your seeds or your herbs and things, they're really nice to dry out. You know when things have like already dried, because uh, they are a bit waxy, um, so they're not really good for like drying things out, but when things have actually dried down and that, they're good then. So we've got herbs number one and two again which casket please write down what your herbs are i mean that i think it's like cinnamon it feels like it's cinnamon sticks because of obvious but sometimes herbs aren't actually obvious oh black candle Let's see. we've got something else we've got uh, oh we've got some crystal chips um that is that right so money bowl oh look see what i mean this is what i love they always go to town on the littlest of detail look at how beautiful is that and as you know what i do uh for my what's called book of shadows or grimoire whatever you call it i always write these out in my own handwriting because i struggle to read them and i like to do my spells by candlelight so i'll write them out in my own handwriting a4 paper i don't have a book I have an A4 binder and then I can mix and match, move things about where I want so that I'm not going, oh crikey, I've got to write it out in my neatest handwriting. Oh, I've gone wrong in a nice, really beautiful book, you know, a leather bound book with beautiful papyrus or what have you. I would ruin it. So it's A4 binder. I can take it out, move them about as I want. I probably will eventually get round to doing a proper uh, like book of shadows or a grimoire write them all out beautifully uh take what i need out of it but at the moment no a4 ring binders move them about as i want as i need 
and because um, I always put like the spells that I'm working in a poly pocket so any spillages just wipes off just wipes off so that's another hint for you if anything that you're working on don't write you don't use it on this write it out pop it on a poly in a poly pocket just in case you knock anything over or burn anything you're not burning your actual thing <laughs> and then I always just pop this with the spell together and then I pop it in the book of shadows and I always write date day moon things like that what time of day it was and anything else that was appropriate and then I'll look back on that and I'll add certain things you know did I think it worked or you know look back on things um, so that's what I always do uh, but that that's just an, another hint for you guys I mean you do what you want but that's just what I do <laughs> and I'm mainly because it's, it started out that I was trying to do a spell and I'm like I'm going I can't, I can't read it because the writing's too small so I'm like well just write it out and plus you know when you're writing things out it's making it yours and you're understanding it before you're actually doing it so I'll just tell you what's what you get in here I'll not tell you the actual spell because like what I've just said uh, you know about copyright so it's a money bowl spell so you get cinnamon sticks which is number one mint and a green adventuring chips so it's like the big one but we've got chips and a green candle and then it says you need a suitable bowl so these are all the ingredients you need to make a money bowl so yeah you just basically you just pop your things that you need in your money bowl pop like a, a little petition in what you want what you desire and um, yeah you make your own spell make your own, own to your own desires really and that's the money bowl here you go and try and fill it you need to feed, you need to feed the thing with the money bowl is feed it feed it with some money it doesn't have to be a lot feed it with you know a few coins so it knows what to do uh, I always like to add a few coins uh, and add something um, you know like uh, any type of abundance oils or things like that just to get it going and if you've got anything that's look really lucky to you pop around it and things like that just just to get things going and I always like like to light a candle and th thing with a um, like a money bowl is keep at it keep going um, I, I like to keep it going for like a month and then I'll refresh it and things like that and um, yeah I mean this one uh, it seems to be for yeah for like a quick one because it's got a small candle I would probably substitute this candle for a, a big candle the bigger the candle you can keep the spell going longer and longer and longer and I when you know when you extinguish a candle you just say you know that my my spell grows stronger or something as the as I extinguish the flame or you know or I always when I'm extinguishing the candle I I explain what I want to happen when I'm extinguishing the candle uh, it's like if I finished the spell I say like you know my spell is now complete to the candle uh, so I always think that the candle is part of the, the, the spell you know especially if you haven't let this the candle but this is what I mean if you haven't let your candle burn all the way, way down and you need to stop it I, I by all means you just stop it uh, but I always say my spell is now complete I, I release my wishes to the universe you know and other words to, to the same effect don't don't leave your candle burning whatever you do safety first whatever you do so that is that so on to the last item and it is this and it is a magical money bowl so that goes with that so all those ingredients you pop into this and it says in tarot pentacles represents magical matters such a so it tells you again about what I've just said about the tarot being uh, in about pentacles and it says use for money bowl spells to attract abundance to into your life this in ooh so it's, this is handcrafted ooh. this can also be used as on your altar oh oh look at that so this is their money bowl 
or you could use it as an offering bowl it doesn't have to be a money bowl I love that so I think is it by Summer's Isle we usually buy this enchanted handcrafted bowl can also double as an altering dish or an offering dish so yeah so it's got pentacles all the way around it and you can see it's handmade I love it when things are handmade but I love that it's really really nice I'm just looking to see who made it I always like to tell you who's made things uh, so magical money bowl yes it's by Summer's Isle I thought it were so yeah so we've got the pentacles on there to attract wealth oh that's beautiful I love that that is really nice that so yeah so you pop all your ingredients in there with your candle there you go hey presto sorted I absolutely love that loved it loved it as much as which which box yes both equally both equally I love it and I absolutely adore the colouring absolutely adore the colouring I'm not one for green and gold you probably guessed I'm not one for green and gold but I absolutely adore it, it does look like you know like leather and oh it looks expensive uh, yeah another amazing box from Witch Casket so yeah I can't wait now for next year I really can't so yeah so thank you very very much for being with me throughout my journey this year uh yeah so i can't wait for next year to see what next year will bring so yeah join me for helen's hints in <laughs> coming next january uh pop in comments down below any hints and tips that you have for new witches or beginner witches anything that you want to share or like I say share on an email but just pop in the comments box that you've done that uh, just so i know to try and find your email and also let me know if you want your name mentioned or not um, because obviously I'll omit it if you don't want it mentioned or I'll just say your first name what what you prefer because uh, I'd like to mention your name if you've uh, if you've helped somebody out um, but yeah new things coming so thank you very much for watching and yeah please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so so that you know when a new video is up and ready because like I say at the moment with the, the Royal Mail things are well aren't happening <laughs> so yeah so there we go so i'll say goodbye for now because i'm just rambling on so thank you very much for watching please stay safe and i hope you have a magical day thank you bye for now bye